Hi everyone, welcome back to the card table. You know there are many card tricks all over YouTube, but not so many poker cheating demonstrations. So I'll perform one for you right now. And I'm mixing the cards up just as they would in a casino. It's not very elegant in a James Bond kind of a way, but it certainly gets the job done. Now, as a performing magician, it doesn't take long before people start to ask me questions such as, can I use my sleight of hand skills to cheat at cards? And that kind of a thing. So I always answer that question by performing this for them, this little demonstration. And I'm going to use the, uh, the kings uh, because they're very easy to recognize. In a real game, there's no way that I would do that because it'd be far too obvious. So this is just for illustration purposes. So the cards would be uh, cut and shuffled and that kind of thing and dealt out. And during the shuffling process, I would take the hand that I want and position those cards in the deck. So as the cards get dealt, I get the hand that I want. So I'm going to take the kings and I'm going to leave them face up. I'll shuffle and then I'll deal and we'll see who gets the kings. And I'll leave them face up so you can keep track of them. In fact, I'll even leave them on top so that as I shuffle, you might even be able to see exactly what's going on with the shuffle as well. And I always say two shuffles is enough. One more shuffle should do because any more than that, and it does look a little bit suspicious, and after the cards have been shuffled, it's customary to give them a cut. Now let's see if the stat worked. We're playing a four-handed game. Each player gets five cards, and I'm player number four. Oh, that was lucky. I seem to uh, have a king. And uh, that was also lucky. I seem to have another king. And now we have the King of Clubs. There's definitely a very nice pattern emerging. That means I now need just one more King, the King of Diamonds. Now you just see me deal four Kings to myself. But do you think it'd be amazing if I gave this guy four aces? Well, if I did, he would beat me. That's why I gave him the four Kings and I kept the four aces for myself. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks everybody. See you next time at the card table.